welcome to a video overview of um, the Google Sandbox and how <coughs> SEO relates and, and what you can do um, while your site is in the quote-unquote Google Sandbox. So uh, there are a lot of different definitions of it and, and while we can't know for sure what it really is, um, we can speculate and we can kind of react based on what we've seen. And so uh, basically, it's a, it's a portion of the Google algorithm that uh, will stick a new website under a new domain in a probationary status. So what that means is you can't just launch a brand new website and uh, r get it ranked number one in one month or two months or three months, uh, almost uh, unrelated to how much cash you throw at it or, or how much advertising you actually do. So the period can last anywhere from one month to eight months typically it's maybe three to six months and um, it's basically where your site's organic uh, placement is almost guaranteed to be guaranteed to be low and uh, this is kind of in a response to uh, people exploiting the algorithm and, and getting new sites ranked number one um, using it for spam purposes and things like that you can read more about that in the post uh, the main uh, value point of this post is uh, how to deal with the sandbox and what to do while you're in it and um, basically it's it's best to kind of build your site build your links add lots of content get in a lot of good practices things that Matt Cutts from Google would uh, appreciate and use that that period where you're in the quote-unquote sandbox to improve your site uh, there are a couple things you can do to uh, accelerate uh, the amount of time that you're in in the quote-unquote sandbox, one is using old or forgotten domains. Um, you can also um, get pages online as quick as possible, as opposed to a lot of uh, people. Now, I'm not saying to put pages that are under construction online, but uh, get it live as quick as you can to uh, accelerate that. Um, also, make sure you host it on a reputable site. Um, and work within other search engines, you know, so Yahoo, MSN, and Ask, things like that. You can also rank more quickly on long tail keywords or less competitive ones. Um, and really the main takeaway is to, to be patient and uh, know that there's certain things that are beyond your control in a search engine optimization uh, plan. So if you launch a new website, there's kind of that probationary period where you want to really get used to uh, best practices and adding lots of good content and, and building links and all sorts of things like that. Um, not just links to your homepage, but links to internal content, authoritative links. Take that time to list your website in authoritative directories and all sorts of things like that. And so you can read through the rest of the post to uh, learn more specifically about uh, how to increase, how to escape the sandbox as quick as possible and uh, how to best deal with it.